Man, what a year. A lot of people release some really bad music this year. I'm back ranking them because I've done this like three years ago and I stopped doing it. <laughs> so, I'm back doing it. Well, hello everyone! This is Paul Harrison, the music viewer, and I listen to bad music, like a lot of it. I listen to more bad music than I do listening to good music, which I don't know why. I think it's like a big trait of this channel because of my reactions, because my reactions are priceless. But today, we're doing something a little different. We're not reading no album today, no, not. Today we're going to count down um, my picks for the top 10 worst songs of this year that I've listened to. It's only songs from this year, so the Aisha Erotica reaction does not count because that album was from 2016. You know that album was pretty shit, but let's, let's get to the point here. This is the top 10 songs that are bad that came out this year. Um, but let's get started here. At number 10, we have Once Again by Young Slayer. Now, I listen, I just, my last video I did was reacting to a Young Slayer album. I thought that shit was absolutely horrendous. That album had nothing to offer. It was not good. It was horrible. This song, this hurts my ears, first of all. This is his first single, his first song. Young Slayer is the new little diabetes for me. Is this gonna, is this motherfucker gonna be the new little diabetes for me? I don't know. Let's hope not. Uh, 2023, if he releases something, then that's gonna be pretty bad. Um, uh, but yeah, that's song number 10. At number 9, we have Let's Get Crazy by Crazy Tales featuring Gangsta Tales. I was so bored, I decided to like, what is new in the music industry? What is new? What are people doing? And then I see Crazy Tales, I'm like, what? <laughs> so I actually have heard Crazy Tales before. I've heard his first album. Horrendous, by the way. Why not add you? Spoiler alert, it was pretty bad. But this song takes the cake at literally making most stupid fucking album ever being not as stupid as this fucking song. Holy shit, I heard this and it's so repetitive, so obnoxious. The instrumental is such like egg cakes on the beat type shit. It's bad. How do people enjoy Let's Get Crazy? How? Crazy Tales has to be one of the most biggest memes in this uh, decade so far. That's literally a joke, which it is. Um, Fucking annoying fucking song. Um, feature is pretty bad. Um, song is bad. It's so bad. Yeah, no, that's. Okay, so at least it's not bad as our number eight pick, which is Pull Up With Sticks by Lil Diabetes. What is this? This is his comeback song from like after he took a break for the rest of 2021. This is literally was his comeback song. What is this? I mean, you guys know how much I hate Lil Diabetes. I probably have told you guys this is literally the worst artist of all time. Again, repetitive and vocal activator. Well, of, of course, what could go wrong with that? The flows, the verses, the lyrics suck in this song, and the instrumental is such one of the most goofiest instrumentals I've ever heard in my life. It's so bad. <clears throat> that burp I just did sounded better than this song. That's all I gotta say. Next at number seven is not a meme song. Sadly, it's a Bobby Lebrex song, actually. It's called The Weather. Today's forecast is cloudy with a chance of rain. Um, reacted to again and again. There's a reaction to it. This is probably the most boring, monotone, and soulless song I've ever heard. It is so poor quality. It's literally the most bland as shit. It is so flat. This song is so bad. I almost put me in his fucking sleep. It was so boring. It literally had nothing to offer. The lyrics make no goddamn sense. Worst song off this project. It's literally the worst thing ever. It's so 
bad, dude. What is this shit? Number six, we have Wii Remote by Francis Garcia. Hey Jimmy, let's go to my house and play on the Wii. I know you're down for it. Just come over to my house around 10. Hey there, buddy. Now, Francis Garcia, again, is also low diabetes, but he, he's trying to focus that more. That's why he's dipping on low diabetes finally. Next year, we'll probably have some really good music without him. We Remote is one of his songs from his new album that came out in the middle of the summer um, called You know, The Shadows. This song is pretty bad. Um, the, the lyrics are so cringe. I, but I understand the meaning to this because it's like you, you miss your best friend because he died. But like you, you deliver it in such a way where it's so unlistenable and like the vocals are just like what? Number five, we have Heartbreak by Curtis Vory. Oh, our life is like a bubble, miserable hustle, keep on moving forward. Yes, this is a shocker, guys. Such a shocker. Um, but this is my least favorite song off this new album, um, Singles, I mean, Room of Worries. But this song takes the cake as being the most messiest song in the album, um, especially when the chorus, because the chorus is pretty fucking messy and it's just. Not my cup of tea. It's just literally so fuzzy, so boring. Um, it features Vote Awake. That's another reason why it's pretty bad. Here's another thing why it's bad. The art the features the Bobby Lebrecht, Vote Awake, and Wild West. They don't get their own verses. They only get the choruses. And it's like it's like messy as hell and it's like terrible, I did. Everyone, it sounds so, like, the background of their vocals sounds so fuzzy. Like, it's like, it's like scattered all over the place with this song. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, this song is messy. Not my cup of tea. Not the best song off of, uh, Room of Worries. I mean, Sing Room of Worries. Um, uh, but, that's, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. Disappointing. Next song is, uh, Smoking You by Adam Raps. It's Adam Raps, guys. What, what, what should I say? I can't say anything about this. It literally is bad. Like, he literally, like, talks. He only take, does one take of him just rapping. And I hate it. I'm going to get challenged one day if I just sit and listen to an Adam Raps album, and it's gonna be fun if I do, and I'm going to probably cry, because... At number three, we have Furriness by Creativity Band. I love the furriness. 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 Stay alive, don't shy away. Put all your fur on me like a blanket. Now I know it's Red Blue Fizz, but I don't care. I'm calling them creativity bands still because they fucking deserve it. This is probably the worst song off this album because the whole album he couldn't stop talking about furries. This is the epitome of not shutting up, shutting up about how he loves furries. Like no one cares. Like who gives a shit? The lyrics are so bad. It's the the quality of this song is terrible. This, no one needs to know that you like furries because you're probably gonna get bullied on the internet if you do. And I'm getting on number two here. The F bomb. Again, by Low Diabetes. Again, Low Diabetes comes back with another album after new. Um, and it's pretty stupid. One of the most dumbest ideas he's ever done is called the shortest album ever. Even though I've sat here for like, like, I've sat listening to this album for like 16 to 17 minutes and it's not that short of an album. It's literally like a length of a song, basically. How? How does how does this this song how does this song suck? Why? This is this is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> uh the F bomb is just like metal guitars and then just him saying fuck. Great song! Great song, guys! Good job, little Nike. You made a great song. It's just so I mean it, it makes sense. It's called the shortest album ever, because there's gonna be short songs in it, but it's just this one just Caught my attention, and it was probably one of the worst songs off it. 
don't get me wrong, this whole album is terrible. Um, but this one takes the cake for being the worst song on the album, in my opinion. I think it's pretty shit. Alright, the number one pick. The number one pick. Reality by Young Slayer featuring all the shit pants. I spent a hundred racks on the track. All these new rappers they can't. Roll up the Zaza, call it crack. New Tesla, call me Elon fucking Musk. I'll swerve off and leave you in the dust. Dusty, fusty, musty cross. In my little Lamborghini. I'll swerve off and leave you in the dust. Your bitch is a fatty. I'm singing a latte. You know I'm farting. But these days I'm charting. In my Lambo, I'm carting. Ice on my wrist, ice on my wrist. All the haters, they got lists. I've got like 27 kids. I said I wasn't the father to that one. <laughs> uh, I love this. Oh. This was a highlight of this little album. Again, we're back with Young Slayer again. This was probably the worst song of this album. It literally, it, it was so bad that it was so funny. Like, this song is terrible. This is so bad. The, st the feature, however, is the most funny shit ever. It's a little British boy. The auto tune in this is terrible. The reality. Yeah, this is the worst song of the year. Number one. There you go. There you have it. So, that's it. That concludes my list for the top 10 worst songs of 2022. The next list I'm probably going to do is the top 5 worst albums of 2022, which will probably be later at the end of the, 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 the month. But that's all I got for you guys, so um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me on my picks, and we'll see you guys next time.